Hi everyone, my name is Maurice. This is Editor Depot. I hope you guys love this template. I fell in love with it. It is very, very awesome. If you do like the template, remember drop a thumbs up, comment down below, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure people know about it, guys. It's a really awesome template. We don't want it hidden in the unknown side of YouTube, but let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial itself. All you're going to want to do is open up Cinema 4D before you do anything else. And of course, you're going to want to use a font for this template because when you open it up, the font wasn't included. So you're going to get very ugly times the Roman style font. All you're going to want to do is open up these null um, folders here. I don't know what you call them. Let's just call them folders for now. And you're going to select the first text layer and then you scroll. All, you're not going to scroll. You're going to select while holding shift the last one and that'll click all of them all at once. Now you're going to replace the text with whatever you want. We're going to write depot. Guys, if you do want to write individual words on each one of these, you do not tick them all at once. You simply edit each one individually. But I'm going to do this to speed up the process. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink them all since they're all the same text. So they're going to be the same size. Now that it's the same size and that's, it fits perfectly, I'm going to open up this font folder here. And I'm going to select Pepsi font. Now, if you don't have fonts, you can go ahead and check out Designer Depot. We have a bunch of fonts there. And go ahead and pick your favorite one, guys. But I'm not going to bore you all to death with that. Just remember Designer Depot is in the description. You can download any free font you wish and import it and use it like you would anything else. So once you import your font, you're pretty much ready to go. As you can see, our render is ready. All we're going to do is just change the color here to uh, red. And make sure you change it for every single one of these tick boxes. And that's all you have to do, guys. Once you check it out once more, it should look red. And now we're ready to render it out. So you're going to go ahead and open up your render settings. Your output should remain the same. You make sure you keep it at all frames, 1280 by 720. Under save, you want to make sure it's a PNG sequence because it renders much, much faster. But when you render it as a PNG sequence, it's going to be a bunch of images, 300 to be exact. So you're going to make sure you save it inside of a folder. You name it I Love ED for Editor's Depot. And you name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it frame. And once you do that, you just exit out and hit this orange button and it should begin rendering guys. As you can see, our other render is already here. So we're not going to wait. We're going to go to After Effects. So once you open up After Effects, you're going to have something similar to this. But all you're going to want to do is open up the Intro Template folder and open up Intro folder. And then you're going to double click this missing folder here, this missing um, image sequence. So you're going to double click it and you're going to select the first image. You're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to take the last one. But you see if you click, it's just going to click it. You're going to lose them all. So you want to scroll all the way up again. If you did not do that. Um, if you didn't do that, don't do that. Just watch me. So you took the first image. You scroll all the way down. And then while holding shift, you took the last one. And then you select all of them at doing that. And then you want to select PNG sequence. So when you hit PNG, when you hit open, it should import every single one. And you're pretty much done, guys. That summarizes the tutorial. Remember, right now I still have a black box. But if that's because some of the adjustment layers are too strong, you can turn off one, turn off two, turn off three. As long as you, you know, you're happy with it, you can actually turn off all of them if you want less color corrections. Let's take a look again. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, my name is Maurice. This has been Editor's Depot. If you do like this video, sharing is caring. Put this on Facebook, Twitter. Share it to your grandma, your dog. Love you guys. Have an amazing day. And as always, take care.